On KSAT.com, after being with San Antonio Pets Alive for 384 days, this lucky pup has found her forever home. Fauna? Along with her, huh? Fauna. Fauna, along with her seven puppies, were surrendered to the shelter by their owner back in January of 2021. The shelter says all of her puppies were adopted quickly, but she did not have the same luck, and that is until now. You can read more about how Fauna met her new family on KSAT.com. It's always Cute. hope. Again, Puppy. hopeful. Cute. The sun will come out. Yes. <laughs> Positive thoughts. Uh, 39 degrees today. Cloudy, sort of drizzly. Sprinkles, few light showers. Better chances for showers tomorrow. But yes, the sun comes out Sunday. Afternoon clearing and some beautiful weather to start next week, guys. Thank you, Justin. And thanks for watching the News at Noon. It is Friday and it's Ladies Day at SA Live. It's always Ladies Day. Yeah, well, <laughs> they run the world. Here's SA Live. It starts right <laughs> now. All right. It's Friday. That's right. And it means it's time to spin the KSAT Insider Prize Wheel. One lucky viewer has a chance to win one of six amazing prizes, and you could be next. And Mardi Gras is just around the corner. We have an authentic Louisiana chef showing us a classic Cajun recipe you can make at home. And we have a big update on an upcoming event featuring more than 80 local businesses. What you need to know before you go today on SA Live. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Oh, look at that. Hello and happy Friday. We are sweetening up your weekend and we found a cookie shop you're going to want to try. Good afternoon. I'm Fiona Gorstiza. Mike Osterhage is off today. And well, we know the weather hasn't been, well, you know, any better. It looks really, really cold out there. Okay, but it is still a Friday. And if you are looking for a sweet weekend treat, we've got you covered. Our first guest has launched more than 50 different types of cookies in his family owned bakery. And that's part of what keeps customers coming back for more. Jared Sorensen, owner and founder of Texas Cookie Shop, is here to make some of their latest cookie creations. Hey there. Hello. All right, so everything's bigger in Texas, right? Absolutely. Why is it important to have such a large cookie to work with? You know, you have to be able to get the frosting on, you have to be able to get the yum on the cookie. And so a large base allows us to do that. Okay, so what do I have in front of me? Yes, so the first cookie we're gonna be making is a cinnamon churro. The second, a birthday cake, and the third, a German chocolate, mm -hmm. and last, a coconut lime. Oh my goodness, all right, so what frosting, or what am I putting on top of the churro yes. one? Yes, okay. so that's gonna be this here. Okay. And so just to show you how it, how it goes, yes. we put it directly above and create something that looks a little bit like a churro, and just press it so that at the end of the day, you've got a wonderful cinnamon churro. Okay, all right, so here we go. I'm gonna try that. Now, how do you come up with these, with these flavors? Yeah, well, it's a lot of experimentation. We also uh, use our friends and neighbors a lot to give us feedback as we go and try something out and ask them, well, how did it, how did it taste? And they'll tell us what they like, they'll tell us what they wanna change. There we go. Okay. This next one is the birthday cake, and it just has a little drop that you put at each point around the edge. So you just kind of have some fun with it. Now you said this one really tastes like birthday cake. It actually does. You may think, well, what does birthday cake taste like? And the answer is this cookie. Here you go. There we go. I'll be the judge of that. Fair <laughs> when enough. I taste it a bit, I'm kidding, okay. All right, and so do you have a favorite cookie? Is that, is that, that that's are a you hard able? question to answer, <laughs> but maybe I'll say a few that I really enjoy. The s'more that we're offering this week is one of them. Uh -huh. The uh, Texas Ranger, which has all kinds of mixins in that, is another. And, uh, and then one we're actually offering next week, the Fruity Crunch, which tastes a lot like a Rice Krispie treat. Oh, okay. All right. So now it's the so German now chocolate. It's the German now, you, chocolate. You, you're a fan of German oh, chocolate. When I was right? growing up, I'd have to ask my mom, please make me a German chocolate cake for my birthday. And then when I opened this cookie shop up, I thought I need to make a German chocolate cake cookie. <laughs> so that's what this is. So you first off, you get this a nice. This is all about making those childhood dreams come true, Karen. You know, it really is. <laughs> so you have to start with a generous serving of that. Oh, my goodness. Excuse me. And then you just take the knife and just kind of push it down. Now, the ingredients are important. 
They right? are. The ingredients are what make a cookie. Then you just put a little bit of chocolate ganache on top. This is not this is not going to not going to mm. behave, so we won't worry that about okay. that right now. And then the last one is a coconut lime. Okay. And so for this, when we're making a batch, we put actually a freshly squeezed coconut in both the uh, dough and then in the frosting as well. And the goal is to make sure that you're eating this cookie and know that there's both coconut and lime in it, so it tastes very much like a fresh cookie. Wow, why am I thinking of just, you know, stacking them together and just making a big giant cookie sandwich that out of this. It looks, it looks amazing. All right, so the whole family, right, is involved yes, in the business? Absolutely. So my sons who are in high school helped out with the website, help out coding the app. Um, I've worked on a lot of the recipes, but uh, as we've gone along, my wife has started to help out with more and more of those as long. So we're all doing it together. Okay, that birthday cake is legit. Wow. <laughs> that was great. So, we kind of mentioned it a little bit earlier, but your menu kind of changes week to yes, week, right? it does. Tell me about that. So when folks come in, the I mean, yeah. it's a different experience. It's almost. a different experience. We'll be offering different cookies. And so while this is what we're offering this next week, we do have some new ones planned for this following week. And so the idea is that each time you go in, kind of, kind of can be surprised by whatever we have. And our real goal is that when you eat a cookie, you should be pleasantly surprised and delighted in a way that, uh, that says this is something special because that's what we're trying to do here. Okay, and next week's cookies? So next week's mm -hmm. cookies are going to be the German chocolate, the cinnamon churro, and the coconut lime. Oh my gosh. And the fruity crunch is not here, but it will also, uh, also be coming out next week. So we mentioned, you know, that your family's involved. How did it get started? You know, I was working for a local tech company and left in, in late 2019 and uh -huh. thought I wanted to do something that, I, that, that would be my own kind of adventure. So I've always loved treats and I worked really hard with my family and kind of launched this actually right in the middle of COVID, which uh, wow. I wouldn't suggest doing right. that, but that, <laughs> that's what we did. So we launched and we've been going almost two years since. I so it's been a, a, a fun experience. Oh, well, we love celebrating local businesses. Tell folks how they can find you, how they can order. Yes, so we are a uh, Texas cookie shop. Mm -hmm. So we have an online website, we have an app on the, on the iOS store and uh, we're in the Stone Oak. So right where Stone Oak Parkway and Evans Road meet. There's a Starbucks at Smoky Moe's there. We're right in that little corner, and we'd love to see you guys this weekend. All right, thank you so much, Jared. Okay, for more information on Texas Cookie Shop, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or just snap that QR code on your screen. All right, well, Mardi Gras season is here, and if you want to bring those New Orleans flavors home, you have to go with a real Louisiana chef. And Gay Sandoz from Tony Satchery's Creole Cuisine takes a tough Cajun recipe and shows us an easy way to make this a classic dish for the whole family. Hi, I'm Gay Sandoz from Tony Satchery's. Today, I am going to show you how to make one of the best jambalaya recipes I have ever made. Mardi Gras is coming up, so let's celebrate the holiday. And this is what I'm gonna make. It's uh, delicious with smoked sausage. It has Tony Satchery smoked sausage in it, chicken, and all these delicious, delicious ingredients. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So first of all, I have one half stick of butter that's melted in my pot. And I'm gonna saute four whole onions chopped. And you can see that I've bought a mix that had, uh, it was already chopped, so that's a little convenient. And then two bell peppers. We have the green onion bottoms of one bunch. And then our celery. And you're gonna put this on high and saute it really nice until it is so soft and transparent. Now I'm gonna add three pods of garlic. And you're gonna cook this down until it gets real nice and soft. And I'm gonna move ahead with my recipe since this is TV time. You're gonna put in three cups of rice, six cups of chicken broth. Some people use water, but I love to use the chicken broth. So six cups of chicken broth and now I'm gonna add a little smoke flavor. That's my secret to making this jambalaya mix really good. The smoke flavor comes in mesquite or hickory. You can find it in your grocery store. It's so good to add to jambalayas, gumbos, and such. 
And then I'm gonna add a dash of Worcestershire sauce, a little bitty hot pepper, and I'm gonna add three tablespoons of our bold seasoning. As you can see over here, Tony Sasseries has many seasonings. They have the more spice, they have no salt, um, a spice and herb, and then they have the bold and the original. So I'm gonna put in three tablespoons of the bowl today. We're gonna stir that up. Add our sausage. Now we're gonna add our chicken. And I'm using rotisserie chicken today, but you can use, uh, you can cook your own chicken. Like, and I, I love to cook with uh, jambalaya with chicken thighs. So I'm gonna mix our chicken in, and I have about three cups of chicken there. Um, you're gonna mix it up really well. You got your rice, your smoked sausage from Tony Sasseries, and um, all your goodies, the seasoning. And now we're gonna cover this, and we're gonna cook it for around 20 to 30 minutes, and your jambalaya is gonna be done. And it's gonna look exactly like this. We're gonna try us a little bit here um, and taste it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I love this. This is a great recipe. Go to Tony Sasseries website, www.tonysasseries.com. You can find this recipe there and add my secret smoke flavor and it'll be delicious. So enjoy your Mardi Gras, happy holidays, and happy cooking. All right, well, Tony Sasseries has recipes for any season, but Mardi Gras is when they really shine. How about an apple and cream cheese filled king cake. For a link to their website, just go to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab or just snap that QR code on your screen. All right, still ahead, we're spinning the KSAT Insider Prize Wheel. One lucky SA Live viewer is about to win big and you could be next. But first, hey, your parties will never be the same. See why folks are adding this new activity to their gatherings and what this new business is bringing to San Antonio. That's all next on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, everyone wants their party to have that, you know, extra something to make it memorable. And this local business is definitely helping folks break the ice. Lillian Oler, owner of Assemble Cocktail Workshop, is here to tell us how she can spice up your next event. All right. Well, of course, you come bearing cocktails. So, yes. I mean, the party is just wherever you are. <laughs> okay, so. no, well, you actually have to make your own cocktail when you come <laughs> to my party. Um, so, a workshop um, is meant to just let everybody handcraft their own two cocktails. Um, so we use different techniques and different like premium ingredients um, to, to make some good things like a professional. So you do a cocktail workshop, so you bring a couple of drinks that folks can make, right? And you yes. bring kind of enough for however many people are at the party? Exactly. Okay, Okay. so what are we starting with? All right, so we are starting with a Durango today. You could use any clear spirit of choice. So there's already ice in your shaker tin that's um, some tequila there. Um, then we have uh, pre-measured some Orgeat syrup right here in your jigger. I see it, uh-huh, throw that in. And then you'll measure out two ounces of this Texas Ruby Red grapefruit juice. Uh, what I love about this juice is it's perfectly in season right now. Uh, there's nothing better than a Can I help you? Yep, yep. There we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, thank you. So cold out here. Uh -huh. um, there's nothing better than, you know, the freshest ingredients to help make a cocktail just wonderful. Um, so you can pop the shaker, uh, pop the pint on top of the shaker tin and give it a good shake. Go ahead and fill this with ice. Okay. Then you'll just strain that in here with your Hawthorne strainer. Oh, look at that. Okay. And what am I topping with? All right, so we're gonna to top that off with a little Topo Chico, and then we're gonna put some um, nutmeg right on the top for a beautiful garnish that'll kind of wake up your senses and tell your mouth that you're ready to start tasting something delicious. Um, and of course, you just stick a straw in it, and then you are set to go. Okay, so there's one drink, the first drink right there. Okay, what's the next one? All right, the next one here is gonna be a muddled drink. It's called a bourbon smash. So you can go ahead and start muddling those blackberries there. Okay. Um, pour in your bourbon next. 
Okay, in here? Uh-huh, okay. straight in, it's all pre-measured. Okay, yep. perfect. The whole thing. And you could just do a little splash of simple syrup. If you like more, of course, you can add more. Um, and then we're gonna use this delicious bitters here, a uh, little nod to so, Mardi Gras. So for folks who don't know, you know like, what is bitters? Yeah, you know? so bitters, And is it bitter? To it, the taste? Yes, <laughs> yes it is. It's like the salt and pepper to a cocktail. Um, it just kind of adds some some different complexities to Oh, do one more drop. Oh, one more, okay. Um, and then we'll do a big okay. bunch of ice. Okay. And this is non-alcoholic, right? This one is, yeah, with no alcohol. Some of them, most of them do have alcohol. Um, but this one doesn't have any. It's a really special brand uh, with the best uh, hand foraged and uh, Topping this organic. Off? Yes, top okay. that off. And then we will use some mint and blackberry. When you use the mint, go ahead and give it a nice smack. That will release some of the oils. Okay. And again, get the aromas going. Uh, stick the blackberry. Oop. Of course, a cocktail workshop is about 90 minutes and we handcraft two cocktails. So we're moving so fast here. Um, believe me, during a cocktail workshop, you'll be able to slow down a bit. Oh yeah, well, now, because I'm sure folks ask questions yes, too as they go along. You talk know, like, talk talk. <laughs> for example, in this drink that we were just making, why does the bitters, you know, kind of work with those flavors? Exactly, so it does pull out, you know, um, the mint and then also like the, um, some caramel notes mm -hmm. and things like that in the bourbon. So it all kind of like melds together. Okay. Anyways, we're next mm -hmm. cocktail up, we are gonna make a Mai Tai. Okay. Mai Tais are typically done all wrong. If you go to a restaurant, you see them all different colors. It should just be a very bland color. Um, and then all the garnish, okay. have all the garnishes okay. on it. So I'm gonna actually have you pound that ice over there so we can have nice crushed ice. Now tell me why it's Mai in this tai. bag. It's in the bag so that the ice can actually, as it melts, which might not so much on a day like this, uh, but as it melts, it can actually go right into um, the canvas instead of into the into the drink. Okay. And water it down. So in here we have some curacao, that's orange curacao, an aged rum here, mm -hmm. and we're gonna pour in some lime juice. Got about 20 seconds left, so we got some lime juice. All right, and we got orgeat syrup here. It gets a nice shake. And what does that taste like, that syrup? That's an almond syrup. Mm -hmm. It has a little bit of, um, it basically smells like the inside of a bear claw. <laughs> it's really good. It adds some richness. All and of right, course, and for body. your workshops, you don't just do cocktails, you do Mocktails too, right? Absolutely, mm -hmm. we're happy to include everybody. So if you're not drinking for ever, if you're not drinking for the night, mm -hmm. not drinking for the hour, we're happy to accommodate you. We always wanna have something for everybody. All right, well, perfect. I'll let you finish that right there. And don't forget, SA Live viewers can send a message to their Instagram. You can find them there at Assemble Cocktail. And guess what? You'll get 10% off your first cocktail workshop. Now you can join her alcohol-free workshop this Tuesday, March 1st for zero Proof Fat Tuesday. It's from 6.30 to 8 at 322 South Main Street in Bernie. For more information, just go to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, still ahead, we have a big update on a weekend event, what's changing, but how you can still show your support for local small businesses. And Jen is over at the Home and Garden Show with your happy space. Well, this week's Happy Space takes you to the Home and Garden Show there at the Alamo Dome, where there is no shortage, right, of inspiration. And that's where our Jen Tobias Strusky is now getting a preview. Hey there, Jen. Want to start on one? Build your ultimate happy space with inspiration from the San Antonio Home and Garden Show. And that's where we're at today. So excited to be here. And joining me is Lupe Moreno, the assistant show manager. Lupe, Hi. thanks for having me. Thank you for coming. <laughs> so let's tell people what it's all about this year. So this year we have all of your home experts from landscaping, alternative living, turf, pools, 
uh, sorry, excuse me, hmm, kitchen and bath and more. <laughs> we all have it here for you. There's just so much, right? There's so much. I mean, you can see it right over here, it, whether it's the landscaping you're looking for, some experts maybe to give you some tips, some pointers. It, they have the most beautiful displays. And like you mentioned, something for everybody. I saw some, some turf companies here. You can play some putt-putt golf even. You can. <laughs> Everyone needs a break, right? Yes. And um, obviously there's pool companies, a little bit of everything. And even though it's so cold outside, we, we're trying to get that spring vibe, right? Absolutely, yes. We have some landscapers here. You can start working on your florals and uh, your garden and all your landscaping needs. Now, if people would like to get tickets, what is the easiest way to do so? Best way to do so is to log on to the San Antonio Spring Home Show.com. You'll save $2 by buying online. You can also come straight to the Alamo Dome. Adults are $10, seniors are eight. Got it, all right, so we're gonna take a little look over here. Um, as you can see, there's just so much, so many different exhibitors. You said there's over 200, over right? Over 200 exhibitors, yes. And back here, this is really cool. This is called the Elbow Room. So think uh, granny pods, pool houses, gyms. Yes, right? absolutely, any type of alternative living. So you can see, you wanna go inside? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> so we're gonna come in here. Uh, again, one of many different examples of what you can find here. It's like a tiny home. It absolutely is. And the best part is the owners are here. So any questions that anyone has, you can speak with anyone face to face and, and they can answer all of your questions live on site. Yes, and what I learned too about that, just because the owners are right here, is that the gra granny pods apparently are the trend right now, right? Oh, coming, <laughs> yes, no more so, tiny homes. Right, right. Granny pods. Yes, yeah. and you can put them in your backyard. So whatever that project may be. Now today's a very special day because you guys are honoring Hero Day. Tell we me are. about that. So Hero Day, so any active, retired, military first responder gets in free today by showing a valid idea at the box office. Mm -hmm. so you show the ID, we give you a, a ticket and thank you for being our hero. Awesome, and then teachers also have something going on this weekend. We yes, do, teachers. yes, teachers and any type of faculty staff, janitorial staff, if you have your school district ID, show it to the box office on Sunday. Thank you for your trying times during this pandemic yes. and teaching our children. And, and speaking of, again, a lot of people have taken on projects. You mentioned the pandemic, but there's something here for everybody, right? Something for everyone, everyone, whether you are working on a small project, a big project, or you're simply just shopping for your weekend purses and <laughs> trinkets. We got have it. it all here. All right. There's even some food, by the way. Oh, so savory food. I think I might go get something. All right. Thank you so much. For more information, you can head over to SanAntonioSpringHomeShow.com. You can also give them a call, 888-604-5988. Again, today is Hero Day. Free admission for all first responders, active military, and veterans. Thank you so much. Thank you. Fiona. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, Jen, of course, with you being there at the Home and Garden Show, that got us thinking about home makeovers. And we want to know, if you had $5,000, what room would you make over in your home? You know, you can only pick Ooh. one room. What would yours be? I already know what mine would be. Yeah, well, I'd, <laughs> you do, I want to know yours, Fiona. Yeah, I would do probably a music room because I got my kids involved in music now, but I don't have anywhere to put all their equipment and things. So I think I'd do the ultimate music room. Soundproof yeah. walls, right? <laughs> what yes. about you? I, I need to redo my dining room because it's not a dining room. It's just all uh. of Sloan's toys and stuff. So we don't even use it. <laughs> so I don't know, she you might know, have to I move. I know how that is. <laughs> yep, that'd be awesome. <laughs> All right. Well, let us know. Awesome. Share your comments on Facebook and Twitter and show us a picture of the room that needs a makeover if you have it. You can see, uh, you know, both uh, my room there, too. Just tag us at SA Live KSAT <laughs> on Facebook and Twitter, and you might see those a little later on in the show. Thanks, Jen. See you in a bit. All right, next, continue supporting black San Antonio businesses even after February. The big event helping to shine a light on these small businesses and the important change you need to know about. That's next on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, even after February ends, local black businesses could use your support and there's a big event helping to shine a light on them. Ms. Yes. Mika, owner of Black Business San Antonio, well, is here uh, to talk about the Black Vendor Expo and about a big update you need to know about. So yes. welcome, welcome. So first, let's let them know what that update is. The update is not tomorrow, next Saturday, March 5th. Now, of course, this is a Black History Business Expo, so we wanted to celebrate black history, but this weather is saying, no, no, no. 
show. <laughs> so we're going to move it to March 5th, Saturday, 12 to 6 at Davis Scott YMCA. So if they see February 26th on the website, Ignore that. It is March 5th. And I just updated it, so you won't oh, see perfect. it. Oh, perfect. All right. Perfect. Okay. So what can folks, of course, find at the Expo? Man, you're going to find 100 business owners with great things. I have just a sample of some products, all the way from homemade items, like so like customized items, uh, keychains, puzzles, coasters. We have um, CMOS, which is wonderful, and I want you to take a little taste. CMOS gummies. CMOS is so, this is from Divine Destiny. And they are, CMOS is go, so good for you. Your health, your your complexion, your energy, your just everything. Isn't that yummy? Mm, bro, so you can pop all and go. But guess mm -hmm. what? CMOS in shampoo, CMOS in a gel, CMOS in a soap. Oh so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, you can take this. one yeah. home. You can take one home. <laughs> oh, so you. then we've got um, uh, not only teas that's going to be out there with customary uh, tumblers and things for kids and mugs, all kinds of cute, cute stuff like that with your mugs. Two tin candle. Mm. Now, this is one of my favorite candles, but you are one of my favorite hosts, so I'm going <laughs> to give this to you. T take a scent of that. Oh, wow. Wow. And wow. guess what? This candle, all the way healthy, made out of soy, so when it burns, you can actually use it as an oil for your skin as well. Good for your kids, safe in your home. Girl, you got to come. I tell you. <laughs> I tell you, this is awesome. Then, of course, we've got homemade earrings. So um, we have Prosperity Fragrances that's going to be out there. I wanted to bring you some beads, that what they use for waist beads. Uh -huh. So in Africa, what they did is you put the waist beads on, and that controlled your weight. When the beads got uh, tighter, you knew you had to lose some weight. <laughs> Yes, girl. Those so are just you, my jeans. I know. I, that's what we call them now, jeans. So you've got homemade products. You've got things that, that people have created. Yeah. And then you have services as well. So we've got Tamla Hamilton Real, Realtor out there, help you find a home. We've got um, Flawless Spa and Dis Distinction, who is going to be doing massages out there. So all kinds of different um, businesses products and services for you to utilize. A great place to find those incredibly unique gifts. And of yeah. course, the location is important too, right? The location is very important. Davis Scott YMCA, it is Black History Month that we're celebrating. And Davis Scott YMCA is our only black Y. And so we want to raise money for them and make sure that, that they have the necessities, the staff, be able to fix things and do the things that we need for our community during a hard time like this. Right. They do food drives. They do um, health classes. So we want to make sure that's continuing for for, for our, the people that live in our, our community. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Let's get the information up on the screen so yes. folks can go check out the Black Vendor Expo again next Saturday, March 5th, from noon to 6 p.m. at the Davis Scott YMCA. There's going to be more than 80 small businesses on site. It's free. It's free. And open to the public. So come on out and show your support. For more information, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Thank you. Thank you. All right, still ahead on the show, another lucky SA Live viewer is about to win big. It's Friday, so we're spinning the prize wheel and find out how you can be the next to play and win. And whether you're looking to do a big renovation or just freshening up your home for spring or working on your golf game, Jen is live at a big event this weekend that can help you create that happy space in your home. You don't want to miss this. Stay with us. All right, well, it's one big event with tons of inspiration for those home projects on your wish list. And our Jen Tobias Streski is live there at the Alamo Dome. Hey there, Jen. That's right. It's a happy space Friday. We're at the perfect place for that, the San Antonio Home and Garden Show. And no matter what project you have, there's somebody here that can help you with that. And that includes experts like Bert here. He is the owner of Blooming Blinds of Northwest San Antonio. And this started as a family business, now national. What's the story behind the success oh, wow. there? We, thanks, Jen, for, for stopping by today. We, we're having a good time here at the San Antonio Home and Garden Show. And uh, we just started off, we, we're just a local franchise. Janie and I started this business in 2019, and, and uh, we've kind of grown from there. Um, we've, we've just expanded all over the United States. We've got currently 81 locations across wow, the United States. Wow, 81 yeah. locations. And um, obviously you do 
an array of projects. So tell me a little bit more about some of the projects. Well, we offer a full array of services uh, from repairs mm -hmm. uh, to new sales on just about any kind of window coverings that you want from automatic roller shades, which is the hot thing right now, mm -hmm. and Roman shades uh, for mm -hmm. traditional uh, applications and uh, faux wood blinds. Uh -huh. Also, uh, this year we're, we're, we're really happy to be here to showcase one of our uh, new products that we've been doing for the last couple of years. Okay. And uh, we can show you yeah, right show here. Yeah, show me. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's see it. So uh, we specialize in uh, outdoor uh, automatic roller Ooh. shades. We can enclose the patio as, on an as-needed basis. So when that happens, we don't have to put up with those pesky mosquitoes. That, oh, my goodness. That, that uh, kind of bother us here in San Antonio. Yes. We're able to use our patios more. These uh, fabrics have uh, solar properties mm -hmm. that protects us from the UV rays, also lowers the temperature down on our patios what? so we can enjoy it more and enjoy our families more. Yes. So it's a great just opportunity. Just as simple as that. It's just, just as simple as that with a small little remote. <laughs> I love that. And then, um, so what are some of the customer favorites right now? I know during the pandemic, people are, a lot of people are trying to spruce up the home a little bit more. Have you seen yeah, that as well? Yes, we have seen that as well. When everybody's working at home, they're seeing things that they've been wanting to do, mm -hmm. and now they're kind of moving forward to do that. A lot of the things right now are the, the anything with automation to it. Yes. So you can yes. attach it to the Wi-Fi, tell Alexa wow. to do whatever thing you want, or Google, or Siri, or whoever else you got going. On. You can set timers to these and they can go up and down when you want to without pushing a button. Wow. So a lot of features technology wise that uh, can tie into home automation. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. The power of technology, the right? Power even, technology. With, even with lines in the home. Wonderful. Where can people find you if they come to the Home and Garden we're Show? We're at booth 535 and we're excited about everybody coming down to our show this this year and in this weekend. Uh, we've got a lot of great specials we'd love to share with you about. Perfect. And if they aren't able to make it here, where can they find you all year long? Oh, all year long at <laughs> bloomingblinds.com. Perfect. All right. Well, thank you so much, Bert. That is really cool. Can you do it one more time for yeah, me? Yeah, one more time. Here we go. <laughs> yes, we could all use that with the mosquitoes here in South Texas. For more um, Bloomin' Blinds of Northwest San Antonio, head over to bloomingblinds.com or follow them on social media at Bloomin' Blinds North in W, San Antonio. And for more on the San Antonio Home and Garden Show, head over to San Antonio Spring Home Show.com. Thank you, Jen. Bert. Appreciate it. Thank you. Back to you. Oh, those are some fancy blinds. All right, next on SA Live, every spin is a win. The prize wheel is about to make one SA Live viewer very happy, and you can be the next big winner. It is Friday, and we are rolling into the weekend, of course, with prizes, because it's time to spin the case at Insider Prize Wheel, and every spin on the big wheel wins a prize, and this month, they are all from the Thompson San Antonio Riverwalk, and let's meet today's winner. It is Tabitha Elizondo from Northwest San Antonio. Hi, Tabitha. Hi. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm really excited. So you're in the process of moving right now? Yes. Uh, finally, after months of waiting for a place to move into, we finally got one. So. Well, wonderful, but boy, moving sure is tough. And you are a sign language interpreter, right? Yes. Not totally certified, but yes, I'm a sign language interpreter. Okay, and you said that was your first language. Yeah, my mom's deaf, so um, my parents taught me sign language before I could even speak. Well, that that's very wonderful. Great to hear that. All right, you have a birthday coming up. So, which of these prizes would be a really good early, early birthday gift for you? What are you What are you hoping for? Uh, really liking the penthouse or the spa for two. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's spin the wheel. Give us a countdown. All right. Three, two, one. And of course, we've got the Thompson Spa Me Day, value $500. Thompson Spa for two, valued at $800. Land race breakfast for two. Land race lunch on us. Stay on the penthouse floor, stay in the king room. And you have a one night Skyline Suite stay. That is on the penthouse floor, valued at $600. Pretty nice early birthday gift. 
<laughs> yeah, that's awesome. That's fantastic. Congratulations on your big win. Thank you very much, Tabitha Elizondo, of course, for watching SA Live and to the Thompson San Antonio Riverwalk. This month's wheel sponsor, we are going to be spinning the KSAT Insider Prize Wheel for a new winner every week. And you could be next, but you have to be a KSAT Insider. And for details on how to enter, visit the website, ksat.com slash insider. Thank you again, Tabitha. Enjoy your stay down there at the Thompson. It is beautiful and happy early birthday. Day. Thank you. All right, Monday on SA Live. Have you ever been to a burrito joint and they skimp on the filling? Well, you're never going to leave hungry at this local restaurant where they stuff their burritos full. How you can grab a bite. Plus, it's the only week where the party starts on Monday. It's Lundy Gras, the day before Fat Tuesday, where you can enjoy the flavors of New Orleans right here in town. It's all Monday at 1, right here on SA Live. Well, right now, a big surprise for one woman. She's KSAT local expert John Wayne Service Company's Fan of the Year. Check it out. But actually, what I'm going to be here today to do is going to be uh, let you know that you are this year's John Wayne Fan of the Year. No way! <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God! <laughs> yeah, congratulations! <laughs> I just want to let you know that I won the John Wayne Fan of the Year. <laughs> yeah! That's awesome! That's so exciting! It's super exciting! All from voting for you! <laughs> Am I doing anything for you? That means a lot. I'm glad that you got picked. You deserve it. God took care of you. You took care of me. We're all, we're all in the same boat here on St. Pat's. So thank you again. <laughs> thank you so much, Lita. I love you. Love you too. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful and appreciative. All right, earlier we asked you if you had $5,000, which room in your home would you make over? You can only pick one. Jackie says, my bedroom. I've had the same furniture since 2005 and I am ready for something new. Patty says, my kitchen. Michelle, living room for her. Julie says, the bathroom, because new plumbing, of course, can be expensive. Lori says, is that her? My kitchen again. Lupita says, master bath update, which she wants a walk-in shower and a new bath vanity. Yes! And Lisa Ann says, my bedroom, making room for king size means, yes, of course, rearranging the entire room. Oh, all right. Well, we hope you're staying warm out there, and we will, of course, see you Monday right here on SA Live. Have a good weekend.